Uh, what's the name of the course playing today, Tim? The name of the course we're playing today is... <laughs> Why do I always forget the name of the courses? It doesn't even show it. It's like, you get all amped up and it's like, yeah, we know everything about the course. All the course conditions, match rules, but we don't know the name. It's called Bandon something. B-A-N-D-O-N. You'd think um, if you are going to show the name of the course anywhere, it would be on this load screen. Yeah. Because you're selecting yep. the pin placement, the T. Um, and also, this is the intro screen to most streams, like what we're doing now. But it does not tell you the name of the course you are about to play. Um, might be uh, might be time to send an email to uh, to uh, the two K people. Yeah, I'm going to send an email to to admin at at, at the golf club two K dot dot com. Yeah, that's not. I, I don't write. This is not right. But the good news is, we'll find out right now. Oh, okay. It's old oh. pack trails abandoned. Interesting. Four and a half stars. We found this by looking through the um, what's hot this month, I think it was. There was a filter when you search for, for courses. And i got to say, yeah, this is ticking a lot of boxes. A lot of the boxes that were not ticked by the, the previous course that we've just played. Yeah. If I might add. Played a very low effort course earlier in the night uh, called the Black Pearl Country Club or something like that. Curse of the Black Pearl. <laughs> it it was very low effort. It was cursed. Wow, oh, that shot was cursed. <laughs> yeah, it it's not going to live long in the memory that course. But that's all right. It can't this is a crazy perfect. fairway. I'm not quite sure how you missed it because it's one of the biggest fairways I've ever seen. I was um, trying to cut. It is, it is very elevated to... though. Yeah. I guess the key is to, to get... not try and cut it. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do. I might not do that. Oh. I wonder what the course record is. That was a bad swing, but I got away with it. I'm going to find out what the course record is right now. Uh, so we are going off the blue tees. So presumably, if there are red tees, the record is off the red tees. Um, yeah, these so were the longest tees. Yeah. So we'll see what the record is off the red, but also off the blue. Okay. All right, the record is 17 under off the blue tees. And that was uh, attained by Grifster74. Okay. Mm. That's going to be hard to beat, I think, in 14 kilometer an hour winds, 15 kilometers. But hey, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 108 yards. We're going to get an extra 15 because of the elevation, or lack thereof. So that adds up to 123. And then it's 15 miles per hour under the wind. Oh my god. Um, Too late to do the maths on that one tonight. Yeah, it's not going to be very entertaining. So I'm just going to hit a gap wedge and uh, see how we go with that. Bad. That's bad. Um, and these greens weren't so soft. I think I could have rolled back, but uh, you said there were soft greens on this course, right? Yeah. It certainly seems. Uh, yeah, the they're case. soft. Yeah, exactly. It's a beautiful course. I'm really liking the look of this. It's almost like. It's almost like a combination of a Lynx course and like a uh, like a hilly course. Like it, it's a bit like the Lynx course and that it's got these giant fairways and giant greens. Except you also have these like massive elevations. 
I feel like there's probably not a lot of courses like this in real life, but um, mm. yeah, it's a nice little uh, semi-realistic fantasy course. Well, it seems to be so far. Yeah, the the sand like all over the like the dunes, I guess you'd call it. Sort of reminds me a little bit of courses like Bamboogle Dunes in Tasmania. Okay. Not that I've played there before, but just you know, like that is a real feature that's on some courses. Hmm. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the flyover. No, oh. I really want to for this course. Yeah, it's got a great atmosphere. Really. Mm. Lovely elevation with this nice kind of vista out over the sea. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's beautiful. Lovely sight line. Like I said, it's almost a cross between a Lynx course. I was, I was also going to say it's almost like a cross between a Lynx course and like Pebble Beach or something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Definitely with the the course layout, or the whole configuration I mean. Yeah, it's windy as well. God, that is, that's, that's pretty beautiful. They're really liking this. I'm going to struggle a little bit here just to, just to stay at par, I think. Nice one. Nice little lag. Thanks. Yeah, let's see how soft these greens are. Oh, yes! Nice. You're on track. Oh, look at that. There's a beach down there. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. He's put the waypoint, like, over the cliff so that the camera follows the, the beach line of it. I like that. No, this, this, this course is beautiful. got like almost like a the coast is a bit like Lennox head I was gonna Evans say head that I was gonna thing. say Evans head but um obviously Lennox is basically the same yeah. yeah like that would be the point up there yep no I can see that yeah definitely more like Lennox I think um Lennox is more elevated than Evans head is well Evans head has some similar features uh you should explain to the folks at home uh, what Lennox head is where it is and a little bit about oh, it. Yeah. A little bit about it. Yeah, so, so I mean, we're from Australia. If you haven't um, if you haven't already discerned that from our, our accents, but Lennox Head is a little coastal town in in New South Wales. In the in the Oh uh, no. Is that out of bounds? It's not. It is. It is, okay. Thank God. I didn't get a notification on the screen. Yeah, it's a little coastal town in on the far north coast of New South Wales, um, the state of New South Wales, and it's about no oh, about 15 minutes from Byron Bay, also um, Byron Bay being you know probably one of the most uh, well-known tourist tourist destinations in, in in New South Wales maybe. Um, yeah, there's basically just this 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 huge stretch of coastline. Um, and Lennox Head is, is close to um, what's known as the point. I'm kind of boring myself talking about this now. Um, but when I edit the video, I'll put, some, uh, I'll put some images up on the screen and it'll be very, very exciting. 
three. Yeah, very nice. Right. Yeah, hey, look, we both made the same mistake. Um, yeah, but this really, I mean, gosh, this really reminds me of that whole stretch from Byron Bay to Evans Head, even into Ballina. Do you know what environment template this course uses? Yeah, I think this one is... Oh, what's it called again? That's one. I can't remember the names of the environments off the top of my head, but it's... Uh, I think it's called uh, Highlands, I think it is. Right. Yeah, the Highlands thing. Let me hit a cheeky, cheeky fade here and see what happens. Hmm. Close. Close. Did you loft up or down? No. Okay. There's a four iron, I think I hit. Yeah. I might hit the same and just not just hit it to the left. I think that's still the right club, I think you just need to aim it left a little bit. Mm, not a great swing. Yeah. Oof. Club's fine. Hmm. It's just not much margin for error. Oh no. Thought I was going to go over the top of that mound there. Yeah, lucky the greens are soft. Yeah. There's a lumpy green. Oof. Oh, that's not too bad. Hmm. Oh nice, there's like this little walkway. Wow. Man, he's put a lot of grass. Like manually placed the grass. Hmm. And bushes. That's beautiful. God, you wouldn't want to be in that bunker, would you? <laughs> no, you would not. Yeah. That is that is a deep. And it's surrounded by little bushes. And we're just going all out here. Oh. Three yards, forty feet above. I have to lock this lob wedge down a little bit. Nice part. Making up strokes. Thanks, man. Hey, we're right on the edge of the map here. Yeah, man! Yes! <laughs> oh, look at this green. 
jeepers. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, the cost of not sticking the green with the driver is quite high. <laughs> God. I like it. It's it's a it's a very high risk, very high reward. Yeah, part, part of me kind of hates this hole, but if you did land it on the green and keep it on there, like you would love it. Oof. Oh, that was that was close. I think you might need a bit of help from the wind to to get it up there, because that was a pretty good shot. It just. It's mostly that it didn't reach. It was pretty straight. Oosh! Oh, you're right. Oh dear. Oh. It's not even in the, uh, not even in the bunker. Oh man! That is a fuck. <laughs> That's right. That is a. That is. That's a fuck. That's bad. Gosh. Yeah, you're gonna have to pop this, I think. You won't get much out of a chip. You won't get much out of a flop either. Jesus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was... That was instructive. Well, this this hole has been a little bit of a blowout hole for a hole that you can basically almost drive the green. You could get an eagle here, or you could get a bogey six, <laughs> and not do much wrong. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of hate that like hole it. to be honest. Like it would be exciting if you stuck it on the green. That would be exciting, but like. I know, I feel like that sort of hole is beneath this designer. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a bit cheap, but I don't I don't I don't think that I I dislike it as much as you do. I I mean one or two of those holes, like super high risk, high reward, you know, like like ten percent kind of chance of getting it on the green sort of thing. Mm. It's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, if there's only one or two like it, which I suspect there will be, then, um, then I'll forgive him. Yeah, but, but but putting it within, just within driving distance on master clubs, and having a small <laughs> green with the pin right at the front, that is kind of ticking a lot of cheap boxes. Hmm. Two good drives. Mm. Even par. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Not, not bad. I'll get a look at it. Just a lot of attention to detail with mm. what would other be otherwise be kind of inconsequential aspects of the course design. You know, there's dunes and things at the top of hills and, and mountains mm. that that aren't kind of directly related. Damn, not lucky. Yeah, they're not directly related to the hole. They're just kind of you know part of the um, part of the environment, and you can see them. You can, they're kind of sight, really nice sight lines that you can see from the holes, but they're not sort of directly part of the hole. Yeah. That's a really nice touch. Ah! 
make those ones. Okay, minus eight. And it was about thirteen hours twelve. Alright, let's smash the three iron. That's the one. Oh, that's a good shot. Did you just hit a three iron with a bit of de-lofting, did you? No, I didn't use any de-lofting. I was going <laughs> to, because I thought it would be a bit short. Which it was. Um, but it was short by an insignificant amount. And look at that. Did you have a fast down swing on that something or something? Uh, no, I think it was pretty much... Mm. I think it was I think Maybe perfect. yours just got a better kick than mine. Yeah, but I went for the line that you went, mm. trying to get that kick. Worked out well. Mm, good stuff. But then, of course, yeah, I, I went to school on your t-shirt. Mm. Hey, oh, bro. Let's, let's get another birdie here. Yeah. Let's get an eagle. Come on! <laughs> Yeah, 296 off the tee. It's into the wind, so hopefully Justin we can reach Johnson. the two. Hopefully. Um, five, six, two. Yeah, we might. I don't know, it'll be touch and go, I think. 274 into the wind. There's, um, only, one way to do, there's only one way to do this, Yuri. I Leroyd. <laughs> hit the driver of the deck. You know what? This will actually be a really interesting experiment because I never hit the driver off the deck because I figure it doesn't even go as far as the two would because you only get 88% out of it. Mm. Yeah. But I always wondered if the driver off the deck does indeed go further than the two would if you hit it well. So we're about to find out. Because we hit roughly the same drive, right? Yep. Okay, so let's see where my two wood goes relative to your driver off the deck. Oh, yours went further. Okay. Yeah, I just assumed hitting a drive was a waste of time, but um, I just learned something new. Well, when it shows the shot preview... Um, yeah, but yeah, you like only it get... Was, it was you know, well over the green. Well, yeah, but you, you understand you only get 88% out of it, according yeah. to... Yeah. Um, that 88% is apparently a maximum. Still, it went further than the two would, so that's... Uh, that's... Good to keep in mind. Definitely scoring opportunity here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Mm. It's gonna help you hit first. Alright, so Whoa. we only... Uh, okay, so we only need to shoot 16 under on the back nine to break the record. <laughs> uh, Look, that's I'm not, not, that's not even an eagle every hole. We only have to eagle some of the holes. The rest we can just birdie. <laughs> right. uh, I'm up for it, if you're up for it. Yeah, let, let's do it. Oh man, what a pathetic shot.
That was a, We're off to a good start here. That was a dead straight swing with a very fast downswing. I don't know why I did a very fast downswing. It happens once in a while. You just go in little panic boy mode sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, that was a little panicky. Little panic boy. Little toilet kid. <laughs> Oh, oh yes! Fuck. Oh shit, man! Oh, Jesus, you were dialed in on that. Okay, oh, so no. we need a for when we edit the video, we need a funny oh, sound no. effect for a re for really bad shots. Oh no! Damn. We needed one for that one. Yeah. Wow! 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 Oh, we can think of something funnier than that. That's normie too. Anyone can think of that. Well, we already know what we're doing for Birdie and Bogey. For Birdie, we're doing um, Barkman Turner Overdrive. You ain't seeing nothing yet. But instead of b -b 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 baby, it's b -b 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 Birdie. So we'll fill that in with a little bit of text to speech. Perfect. And Bogey will be bad to the bone, but instead of bad to the bone, it'll be uh, bad Bogey. <laughs> b -b 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 Bogey. I'll edit this out because in the in the final thing you will just actually hear it. Oh, we missed the flyby. Ah, oh, shit! Just panic. Oh. This has definitely got a purple beach vibe. Another thing I was thinking was um, for boring stretches of the round, like let's say there's a few holes in a row where not much is happening, I'll put it in fast motion so that, you know, what actually took five minutes will take you know one or two, and I'll play a song over it. Like a, ah. a snippet of an o O'Toole song. Like, not the whole thing, nice. maybe, but like maybe play like a minute of an O'Toole song as we fast forward through a few boring holes. Oh, you know, I've got, a, I've yeah, got like an idea in my head of how I can make this entertaining. Even though no one will watch it, but it'll still be good. You never know. If we share on the Reddit and we're like, look, no one is doing this. No one is doing like edited videos with a comedic element to it with sound effects. Like, there might be a handful of people who are like, oh, this is cool, I'm glad you're doing this. Every other golf club channel is exactly the same. Yeah, no, I agree, man, for sure. Yeah. And like I said, if we can edit it so they end up being under 20 minutes, I find that with YouTube videos, like, if you can keep it under, I reckon even under 15, like, people will watch it. Like over 10, but under 15. Yeah, 15's nice. It's like things like Review Bra and stuff. Like his videos are like, I mean, he does this. He, a big reason he does this is because he's monetized. And he can, if his videos are over 10 minutes, he, he makes more money. But uh, yeah, his videos are normally like 12, 13 minutes long. That's a good number. Yeah. Oh dear. It happened again. We need to have a sound a sound effect for get going out of bounds. For when you just completely like have a meltdown on a hole like I've done. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah, this is the wheels have fallen off here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. But the views are nice. That's all we can ask for. Mm -hmm. The views are very nice. Are you going to choke on your own dick? You may as well have a nice view while you're doing it. <laughs> That's uh. That's words of wisdom for the ages right there. Mm. Every generation can relate to that. <laughs> I like this little 
little tufts of rough yeah. bushes in the middle of the fairway. Nice touch. Mm. And just an absolute boatload of grass in the middle there. Oh, look, there's even bushes in the, the little islands in the bunkers. Mm. This has got it all. Old pack trails. Wow, this is treacherous. Um, I was thinking during the flyovers we could play I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so stupid. Would that get a copyright takedown? I think if you only use like a few seconds of a song you get away with it. I could be wrong but I think there's like... Yeah, you can use a few seconds of a song, I think. So if like, if during the flyover it was like, I believe I can fly, and then fly over, you know, edit that in. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'd get away with that. I think R. Kelly would want us to use his song in that way. Yeah. Another alternative, if there is copyright issues, is to like get like a cheap karaoke version of the songs. They have the same effect. Could, even, could be even funnier. Oh, we, he's back. Mm. Get in there. Oh. Damn, girl. Yeah, this course makes me miss home, where I grew up, I mean. Mm. Definitely, definitely captures such a, such a nice vibe. Mm. Damn, look at those dunes off to the left there. And those big trees, I don't know what you call them, but I assume they have them in Evan's head as well, but they remind me of the trees you would see, like in Byron and stuff. Yeah, the big pine trees, right? Is that what they are? I know nothing about plants and trees. I'm an absolute philistine when it comes to uh, to flora. You're more of a machine man. Mm. An engineer. I know a little bit about fauna, but I know nothing about flora. I know what I like when I see it. I like those trees. Yeah, you, know, you don't need to know the name of the tree to know that it's 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 good. It's tasty. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, the way it sort of stands against the, the sky there, it's just awesome. Yeah. Like it's a real focal point. Oh god damn! That's it's a very bold shot. decision just putting just putting one there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's sort yeah. of unintuitive, but it's really effective. Yeah, you got to get in that mindset when you're a designer, I guess, to kind of think, well, what could, what would really be here? Because it takes a damn long time for those kinds of trees to grow, and you got to think, well. You know, when they built the course, they've got to leave some in, take some out. Surely they're not planting them. Hmm. I love some of those mind games that you think, like when you're playing a course and you, you kind of get really into the zone and you're like, oh, what was the designer thinking when they did that? Hmm. Like there's three nice pine trees, I guess they're called pines, just on the left there, and they kind of have this nice, I don't know, there's this like linear kind of aspect to the way they point down the coast. Did he intend that, or she, or they, did, you know, hmm. or was it just, I don't know. Not bad. It's a good one. Get, oh, okay, get a look at it. Well, it's a, that's, that's a good shot with a five iron, I reckon. It's, it's a, you'll see, it's a tough approach. Yeah, I lofted it down a little bit as well. I'm going to attack. Mm. 
Wow, I paid the price. Had nothing to lose though. Get in there. Get in there! Fuck. God. Unlucky. You were robbed. Oh. We lipped out there too. We should like beep out words that aren't even swear words. It just sounds like we're <laughs> swearing all the time. Actually that... Damn, that would be amazing. Maybe I've got to write down swear. all these ideas actually. Yeah, I, I already have a notes in my. I have a note to my phone with some ideas in it that um I should write down the ones we just had. All right, so beep out random words. Um, what other ideas are we just funny sound for? Um, bad shots. Yep. Funny sound for lip outs. Yep. Uh. I believe I can fly the flyovers, O'Toole songs, the sped up sequences. What else did we think of? Well, there's the bogey and the birdie. Oh yeah, that was already there. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, another very fast downswing. Fortunately, this is the biggest fairway in the world, so I'm barely in trouble. Just go crazy. Hmm. No, we have two viewers. I'm one of them. I'm not the other one. If you're not the other one, that means we have a viewer. Hey, okay. viewer. How's it going? Hope you're enjoying the stream at the moment. I wonder if it automatically posts like a hashtag for the golf club. When you uh, when you do a live broadcast, probably does. Well, viewer, if if you feel like you want to comment and tell us how the hell you found our stream, please go ahead and do it. It's really great to have you here. Yeah, getting a bit nervous now that we have a viewer. That was like a a bad shot. <laughs> you, yeah, I lost my swing. I lost my judgment. I'm all nervous and sweaty. Shaking. I'm actually trembling with fear because we have a viewer. <laughs> well, I'm trembling with excitement. It's it's great. Oh, that's good. Alright. I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm gonna hit the best shot I can here. I don't. Okay, I was gonna hit a chip. Well, you've got no pressure, but you've got everything to lose here. You're the one that's leading by seven shots. Yeah, and I want to get under par at least. I'm not going to break this course record. I've come to terms with that, but I want to get a few under. Oh, mate! He's choking here. He's choking. He's choking on his own. Uh, uh, get in there. Oh, interesting green texture here as well. Yeah. It's like I don't think I've ever seen this texture before. Oh man, that is that is a tough little tough little break there. Mm. All right, salvage bogey. Yet another example of what I love about this course, though. Even when you're missing putts that you really think you should make, there's a beautiful vista to just take away all your pain. Mm. Just calm out your frustrations. All right, we lost our viewer. So, 16th hole, par 4. You're tracking nicely here. Still I'm two under. Off the pace. I want to finish 4 under. That's what I would like Ooh, to do. I like this. Tempting the player to to attack this, this rather forward pin position. With the risk of any slicey mishits going straight out of bounds. Just going to be good. I'm definitely going to play this one a lot safer than I did before. Just try nice, and nice little draw on that. Stay on the fairway. Mm. Yeah, 
that's a nice one. Sit. Ooh. Are there any songs with the word rough in it? I mean, obviously there is, I'm just trying to think. There must be a famous song with the word rough in it, right? You're not saying anything, Tony. What? Sorry, that, that's a reference for all the viewers out there. Tony Abbott, our <laughs> former Prime Minister, was once interviewed by a reporter and he became really angry. And, uh, and the reporter just stood there, like, just saying that the Prime Minister Abbott, you're not saying anything. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hold on a second. I, I think that we've got a bug again where I can't, I literally can't hear what you're saying, Yuri. Yeah, it seems that way. Oh no, it's happened again. That bug that happened in the last round has happened again. Alright, so I've decided that even though we can't Come hear on. each other, we should just keep talking. Ooh. Alright, still two under. Last one. Well, we've got two holes to go. I can't hear what you're saying now. I can't hear Timmy, Sorry. Timmy can't hear me. Let's just talk and, and hopefully somehow we'll... This is going to be what up. they call a, uh, a cluster... Cluster fuck. Cluster fuck. I'm worried that if I... If I try to go in and out of the party again, it's going to... Um, drop me out of the game. No, don't worry about it. No. Well, I can It'll be funny. Go, I guess. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Alright, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna try and sneak onto the right hand side of the fairway here. I'm back. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey! Oh, yes. Back, baby. Why does that happen? Lisa? I don't know. Well, my apologies to the, all the viewers at home. Well, viewer, if you're still there. No, we just had a the momentary... Viewer, the viewer left. Oh, no. Alright, this is a tough shot. We must have scared them off. Yeah. Um... Okay, I'm going to have to loft this up, I think. Being a two hybrid. Swing is not great. And it was terribly misjudged. Oi, oi, oi. Still get birdie, though. Could be fun, though. Mm, could be fun, though. Oh. I'm, I'm glad that caught the fringe, actually. <sighs> Yeah, this is a tough shot. Not much I can do here except... God damn it! Holy shit. Salvage plus. Nice. Oh, I was saying before when I dropped out, um, uh, oh yeah, what are some songs with the word rough in it? 
That's, that's a really good question. I just assumed I would think of something straight away. Um, I'll type rough into Spotify. That'll probably tell me what the most famous rough song is. The only thing <laughs> I can think of is Golden Rough, which is not even a song. Yeah. It's just the name of a chocolate bar. Okay, nothing very well known comes up. But there is a ZZ Top song called Rough Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I reckon, like, even though I've never heard this song before, it's like, let's use Rough Boy by ZZ Top. Assuming yeah, they actually say this. Rough Boy. This is, this is great. Okay, as soon as you go on the rough, we're going to play Rough Boy by ZZ Top. Can you just, like, play it, like... Yeah. Seems to be a ballad. Didn't know ZZ Top did, but did ballad. <laughs> it's like an 80s ballad. And it's like, I'll Perfect. be your rough boy. What do you think they meant by that? I don't know. I'll be your rough boy. <laughs> I gotta concentrate oh. here. I'll be your golden rough boy. <laughs> there are no famous songs with the word rough in it. Like we literally, I'm it. like I'm shocked. That is shocking. Oi oi oi. It's kind of a it's kind of a specific word, really, when you think about it. I don't know. Like, I just I I'm quite surprised. Even within lyrics, like if you you know if you think about well, how would the word rough be used? Yeah, you know, if it's like you would think it's the kind of word that like ACDC and would would have used. Yeah. Well, you had a rough day. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah. Hold on, that's, oh, a... that's how to... Had a bad day. Oh, okay. I was going to say. That's had what... a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> there don't seem to be any songs called Rough Day. <coughs> like, nothing remotely popular. Alright, I got two under. Little Timmy boy coming in. Coming in the opposite of strong. Hmm. It's anyway, I liked that course. Um, I clicked past the screen where I could find out. Oh, there he is. Xander Yub. Thank you, Xander. Hey, Xander. Could be a Buffy fan. I don't know what Yub is. It's a euphemism for something. Maybe it's what he calls his little... got some funny ideas for how I can edit that. After I say little, do like that <laughs> sound, like that tin whistle. And just like flash up on the screen like a close up of like obviously not like a naked man cock, but like, like something man, like that. Someone in DTs or something. It could even like be a, like Tony Abbott in DTs and like quickly yes. like zoom in on the dick. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> or like it or like it or like a, a sort of like European man, older European man in in like in like a leather, um, I don't know, bondage outfit or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah, you know, where it's just like the, the crotch thing and and like some you know like some braces over his shoulders and that's basically it. <laughs> Sandy Yum. <Yeah. laughs> I know, like we've enjoyed the course. We've had a great time. He's probably poured like a hundred hours into it. And yet at the very end <laughs> just just debase his name. <laughs> you know, as a as a final thank you. You know, it's like Alright. Here you go. You got a, that's what you call your little 
Yeah. <laughs> He'd be on board with that look. Let's be honest. <clears throat> it probably is what he calls it. Um. All right, I might go to bed, but uh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I might, I might have some spare time over the next couple of days. So I might see if I can edit something together. And if it turns out to be funny, then we'll do a even better one next time.